Hey there, this is Akshit Mandan and welcome back to a new part of this complete Instagram user interface using Flutter Flow by just dragging and dropping. So in this video, we will be completing this profile page. We just have to add these two buttons. That is this tab view, that is grid view and grid button and this uh, uh, saved images. And then we have to add this grid view and we will be completed with this Instagram UI of uh, that is profile page of the Instagram UI. Right, so let's start doing it without wasting more time. So first of all, let's try to add a container that will be holding those two buttons that is for seeing the profile grid or seeing the saved images. So first of all, I will search for container, put it over here and we have to change its uh, height. Let's take its height as 60. Uh, I think 55 will be cool and width will be 100%. And then we have to add, uh, let's see what color it is. We, it is of white color. So we will change its fill color to exact white. Use the selected color. Now we have to add two buttons inside it. So I will search for those two buttons. Uh, first of all, I will add icon button. First of all, I think we have to add a row. Yes, we have to add a row. Put it inside this container. Then and then only we will be able to add those two icon buttons. So take one icon button, put it over here, take another icon button, put it over here. Now we have to make their width as expanded. So go in the alignment, make it expanded. Choose the second button, go in the alignment, make it expanded. Now they are uh, taking the exact equal spaces, exact equal available spaces. First one, uh, we have to change the icon from this to grid. So let's see if we have the grid. Yes, we have the grid. Let's see in font awesome. We are not having grid let's choose this one yes and for the bookmarks uh, let's search for saved uh, we are not having this let's search for bookmark we have this image but not as but not the exact image as we are having over here so instead of bookmark let me search for person only let's see we get something person in the material yes we get uh, let's yes we have this icon let's choose this one yes I think this is not looking good because it's perfectly it's purely black so I will choose this one still better it is a better one right now after this container we are done with this now we have to take one more container and inside that container we will be adding the grid view so take one container and paste it over here width will be complete width but height will not be this much height will be expanded so height will be expanded yes perfect now inside this container we have to add a grid view so let's search for grid we have this grid paste it over here now in this grid we can add few items let's do it now in this grid you can see that axis is vertical because we have to scroll this grid view like this in this downward direction so axis will remain vertical Cross axis count will be three because in the horizontal direction, we only want to keep three items. So that's also good. Cross axis spacing that is uh, spacing between the items horizontally and main axis spacing is a spacing between the items vertically. So it let's keep them 10 only and child expect ratio is one. That means it will be a square, right? Perfect. Now let's add a container, paste it over here. Let's take one more container, paste it over here. Take one more container. Let's add five containers now in these containers we have to add the images so let's search for image put it over here put it inside this container this is not going to remain uh, so simple if you're working on a real instagram right because here i'm just uh, adding the images but there you have to fetch those uh, images from your database right so you will i'm just teaching you how to work with the ui right so how you can just uh, use columns you can use rows you can use grid view right because exact code i'm getting it when i'm clicking on this code button right i can use this code in my application right so this is how you can work but if you're working on a real application you have to fetch everything from the database now we are done with the profile page. First of all, let's take a preview and let's see what we are getting. 
yes so this is my beautiful home page i can scroll through the stories i can scroll through the uh, post i can go on my profile page right so this much we have built right now this notification page is your homework you have to do this notification page it's very simple you have to just drag the elements and drop it at the correct position right you have you can just download an instagram ui image or you can just open your own instagram and see how it looks and you have to just drag and drop and after completing this notification page you have to post the image of how you have built it what you have built it how beautiful you have created it on my discussion group of telegram channel right i'll be seeing it and i will be reviewing it and if there will be any mistake any error or you have, if you are not getting anything you have to uh, you can tell me on my uh, telegram uh, discussion group it's totally open to you right so i think we are done with this profile page and we should end up this tutorial here and this notification page you will be building so till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot